Good day to all you glorious Rascalian bastards. The name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Wavering Waves. And today's conversation topic is going to be that of Wales versus free to play. And the reason why we're even discussing this is because I had a few people were in a Discord call and stuff like this, and we're discussing, you know, gotcha games with whales and the free to play aspect. And the point came across to where I, I was defending the whale side of things because they were trying to explain to me how free to play is the way to go. And in all honesty, whales are destroying gotcha games when they're able to get an advantage on other players. So I want to talk about it. And I want to explain some things and get my point across. Whether you, you know you agree or you disagree with me, let's get into it. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a bag of chips because I think this is going to be one good conversation. Let's get into it. Take form. So, free to play versus whales or whales versus free to play let me explain a little bit of context to the entire story here all right so i was in a discord call with a couple of people we we're all having a conversation and we we're talking about you know like games like wallet may cry we we're talking about wavering waves and we we're talking about you know how especially for games like uh del may cry it's it almost feels predatorial if that makes sense in the aspect of you know how much it costs us to actually pull uh, pull characters in that game and level them up and dupe them and everything else and it's like we were discussing this and you know i was like i'm not defending really but explaining that you need whales in order for games like this to survive i was told that i was dead wrong Make and that faster. that is what the typical whale player like myself would say and i was like excuse me what do you mean well didn't you whale off just recently in wavering ways and spend an absorbent amount of money for that girl chang lee yes i did why would you do that well let me be first and foremost clear okay i'm a grown-ass fucking adult i pay my goddamn bills i know what the fuck i could spend my goddamn money on okay let me just put it that way to anyone and out there in that regards if i want to go ahead and waste 300 dollars in wavering waves by all means that is my mistake that is what i'm going to do all right i could be doing something a lot worse i could be doing fucking drugs or some shit you know i could legitimately be out there hurting other people in some regards where who am i hurting if i'm not hurting who am i hurting when it comes to playing a gotcha game and spending money in it as long as I can pay my bills and I can and I can live comfortably, I think I'm doing perfectly fine and a-okay, right? Simple as that. Well, you don't understand that, you know, Fox, you don't understand that when it comes to free-to-play side of things, that those are the real players that play the game. You know, they're the ones that really are struggling and they should be given stuff you know, for free and there shouldn't be that much of an advantage between a whale and a free-to-play player. Yeah, you're the guys that's playing it. You're advertising it by your play. You tell all your friends good shit. You're not the person that is helping the cost of the game either, though. What I mean by that is, is that for free to play players, you could do what you want. You could be free to play. That is fine. I am perfectly fine with all free to play players. You know, it's not that big of a deal to go ahead and want to spend a little bit of money in a game either. Like I said earlier. I, I think you could be doing a lot worse with f fucking money. You could be doing fucking drugs, you know? As long as you are responsible with how much you're spending that you can afford it and it makes you happy and you get what you want, at the end of the day, guess what? It is your money. What is it of, of me to decide what you're going to do? And for the free-to-play players that want to sit there and, you know, want to stick it to the big man and show them that they're going to play this game absolutely for free, you know, and that they're going to make, make they're going to make their accounts really good. And it's going to take them a while, but they're going to do it. That is amazing as well. More power to you to be free to play. I have no problems with that. The thing is, is that though, Whales is what basically funds the game. People who spend money. You spending 
a couple hundred bucks in a game that you're going to generally have fun with, you know, and it's going to last you a long time to play, it's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. I think the Make whale side of things is fine in that regards. I honestly, you know, the way I look at it is if I did not enjoy Wavered Waves, I wouldn't be spending money in it. If it did not bring me enjoyment, I wouldn't be spending, you know, a buku amount of money here and there for a character like Chang Lee. But I like the character. I like what it is. I ended up deciding that this is what I wanted to do. The free to play side, you guys are not really, you know, you're, you're not funding the game. You, you're advertising it in a certain degree. You're telling your friends, you're making content, whatever. But you're not the type of person that is legitimately giving plural money and showing them you give a shit about their game in terms. Even if you would spend, you know, just a little bit of money, that would also help. Like, I don't see what the problem is with spending money. It seems like... In all honesty, it just seems like, you know, when you talk to a free-to-play person, you're like, oh, yeah, I spent money in the game. They were regard to you like you're the devil or some shit. Like, oh, why would you do that? It's a free-to-play game. It's like, if I want to play, you know, any game out there in the world, I have to spend at least minimum 60 fucking dollars majority of the time. I want to go play Elden Ring, you know, I, it, when it comes out, it's 60 fucking nine, uh, 99, you know, for the game. And then that's not counting what the cost of the DLC is going to be, what the season pass of a fighting game is going to be, you know, the different DLC. In all honesty, microtransactions are there in the majority of all fucking games nowadays, because that's how developers are making their money for their games. Being free to play, Kuro Games is giving you wavering waves completely for free. To come in, play the game, have fun, all that good stuff. You're able to play it, but you know, if you if you really do like the game and you want to support it, it's like a Kickstarter. Hey, throw a few bucks here, you know, we'll give you something for it. And that few bucks helps fund us, you know, to continue building in this game. That's the way I see it. It's just like a Kickstarter. You know, my measly $400 or so that I put in this game, guess what? That, that measly little amount of money is going into this game, and I enjoy what I'm getting out of it at the end of the day. And I'm supporting developers to feed themselves, and, you know, and the way I look at it is like, oh, they're going to... I'm supporting them to give them the paycheck, for them to support themselves. It's perfectly good. I get what I want. And yes, do I get a little bit more of a do I get a more of a vantage than that of a free to play player? Yeah, because you know what? I paid money. I'm supporting the game's development. I'm supporting the developers who built it. I'm putting food on their table. It's a business practice. You know. I just don't understand why some free to play players that I have I have encountered is like thinking that I am a complete devil or people in general who spend money in this game is complete absolute garbage material because oh you spent money in this game and it's like so what how do you feel about it? like you watching the video right now if you're watching this video and such how do you feel about that like legitimately I want to know I honestly want to know do you feel like legitimately you know, me spending money or someone who's wailing out in the game is the devil. Like, you know, they shouldn't be like that. That they shouldn't be getting a high, a higher advantage than you because you're free to play or even vice versa. Like, do you feel like, you know, whales deserve, you know, to get what they get out of the game because they're spending that amount of money in the game. I really, really want to get that answer from a lot of different sources because talking to these three guys, man, they surely made me feel like I was the Antichrist or some shit. Like, it was... For a minute there, I'm like, wait, what the fuck is wrong with these kids nowadays? I call them kids. I mean, they're still over in their... They're still past their fucking 20s, but still, I call them kids in that regards because, god damn, man. I don't think the new generation has grown up far enough to understand things like this. Life is not something that you just get for free all the time. Life is something that you have to earn. I think there's a balance. Like, and that's another thing that I'm going to put in here. I, I want to talk about in a sense. 
is that I think that there should still be a balance when it comes to whales versus, you know, players. And the idea of, you know, like, okay, in Wavering Waves, holographic bosses, I talk about it all the fucking time. I really do. But, you know, that's something that, you know, even if you whale in the game, guess what? That doesn't guarantee that you're going to beat the boss. It just helps. It really does help. Don't get me wrong. But even free-to-play players, I got a friend of mine who straight up, level 50, Rover, took down the crownless at level 100. He sat there for a good solid couple of, couple of days, no life in it, learning every pattern and making sure that it was perfect to where he had to dodge everything because one hit would instant kill him and he didn't even do it with a team because he did it. He earned it. And he's free to play. He does not spending money in the game. I spent money. Chang Lee killed it. Either way, you know, I have a I have a lot more respect for him for what he did. But at the same point in time, it's like that boss in any which way, shape, form, the way you kill it in any of these bosses, however you play it. I think that there should still be an earning factor. You know, whaling is one thing to get yourself a, like a slight little boost here to help you. But at the end of the day, to get the actual rewards, you still need to earn the rewards. And I think that is where sometimes in some gotcha games, the rewards are just way too easy for a whale than it is for, you know, a free to play person. Make That's where I think maybe the majority of the issue comes in. Tell me if I'm wrong about that. Is, is that the problem? But still, I, I'm going to say, like, if you're a person that's spending money in this game or whatever game it is that you're interested in, I still think you you earned, a you know, a right because you're helping to fund the game. So that way, even for the free to play players, guess what? My couple hundred dollars is going to Kuro is also helping the development of this game for new content that, you know what? Not only am I going to enjoy it, but you're going to enjoy it. You know what I'm getting at? So yes, I hate to tell you this, but anyone who disagrees with me, I'm sorry. Uh, this is one time that I'm going to say that I think that I'm 100% right on is that you need whales. You need people who's willing to spend money to make sure that these games last. You know, that these games legitimately continue growing because if you're a free to play person that loves wavering waves, you know, you shouldn't condemn the whale because he's spending money and you're not. You should be thanking him, in my personal opinion, because he's allowing it to make sure that Plural Games continues doing content for the game. For you. Because that's how life is. And I hate to tell you this, especially to the new generation of my people, but uh, life's not fair either. All right? I hate to tell you this. Uh, if mommy and daddy told you, hey, you know, you're going to grow up and life's going to be always a bucket of balls, you know, a box of chocolates, and you're going to have the best of the best. I hate to tell you, they lied. Life's not fair. Life is complete a heartache. It's a struggler's passion. But otherwise than that, guys, if you did like the video and all that good jazz, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts is, you know, on free to play versus whales, whales versus free to play, however you want to put it together. And, you know, share the video if you believe someone else needs to see this. That would be great because it does all that helps out in gentleness. Like right now, I know we're growing in subscribers and stuff like this and everything's going really good. I just want to continue making content. And if being someone you know a little bit better than the rest and i want to be as you know as open as possible with every one of y'all like legitimately i'm even ready to create a whole new discord server for anyone who's interested and leave that in comments down below if you're interested in like coming into a discord server and you know me talking to y'all through that i'm looking at opening up a brand new one because the one that we got right now is kind of more dedicated to like other stuff and i feel like if we're gonna if we're gonna be transitioning into a whole new game that's not Wallet May Cry, and we're transitioning into Wavering Waves, it might be best to make a whole new Discord that is for Wavering Waves versus, you know, what it is now. <laughs> so that way, you know, people who's 
people don't get upset. In any case, though, let me know down below. Take four. And I tell you what, guys, that's it for me. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.